Hi all, MMPD here with another little application which I hope you guys might find useful. This is primarily targeted at those of you who upload to YouTube pretty frequently with sizes such as gigabyte or two or greater. If you're like me and you have a connection that's a DSL connection from AT&T and are very frequently disconnected when you're uploading, this may be exceptionally useful. However, the caveat is that you must have a dedicated server or a virtual server with root access. If you do not have either of these two things, then this video is not going to be very helpful. So without further delay, let's take a look at the program. It's called YouTube Upload. As you can see, it is a shell script which all you do is run the command youtube-upload with the switches email password and whatever else you want to add on there there are a few things I would like to see in the documentation but uh, besides the readme I can't find a whole lot it's not very helpful so Ignoring that, the issue that I don't like is primarily that it does not allow you to set your videos to public, private, or unlisted. They are all, by default, set to public. If you wanted to do a batch of files with, say, setting them all to unlisted and then to turn one to public when you're ready to release them, you can't do that. At least not with this. You'd have to go into your account and set it manually as soon as you're done uploading it. Otherwise it does go public. And if you're trying to do a series that's uh, spread out over a period of time, that could be an issue. So, let's take a look at the installation. I'm not going to do much, but I'll do a little bit. The dependencies are that you must have Python 2.5 or greater and the gdata-python-client and the python-gdata to 1.2.4. If you don't have these, you're not going to get this installed. I actually did run into this problem. I had an old distribution of Debian and I could not get anything greater than 2.4 for Python and that was a big problem so what I ended up having to do is switch to a completely new server so I did that and updated to Debian squeeze to solve the issue there was another issue that did come up when I installed it though unfortunately I can't remember whether <sighs> the conflict what the file name exactly was I think it might have been the proc mail or or something like that either way I, I do have a link which I will post up in the notes uh, to what I think might have been the dependency problem if I remember correctly I, I'm not entirely sure as I said so if you have Debian squeeze uh, check the description if you run into an issue and possibly it'll help you if not well if you guys uh, happen to find the answer to the problem and so post up a comment with a link to it if you would please if I didn't get it right anyway you have the other choice besides the wget to the version that's latest is an SVN checkout I would recommend this primarily if you guys have a SVN server or a client set up it's a lot simpler to get the latest version of YouTube upload. So, assuming that you've got it all installed, let's take a look at it. We got the script, which is, uh, let me pull it up real quick. Where did I put it? Sorry. Here we go. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much the same as what you saw over here. The difference in my example here is I did add a pipe to the upload with curl.sh 
and I also limited the upload rate to 242 kilobytes per second. Why did I do this? Well, unfortunately my VPS server has one little problem. I can only upload one gigabyte an hour in order to not be charged a penalty of five cents per gigabyte that is over. How do you figure out pretty much how to avoid that going over? Well, in my case, what I did is I looked at my average upload per hour and I just picked a number such as 850 megabytes and went with it for guessing how much I can upload per hour. Uh, a simple way to find out how much you want to upload per hour is by using a program which I found is called Transfer Time Calculator. You, what you do is you insert a number and you can also set the time period it would check for. Then you would hit Calculate. It comes out with the uh, 242 kilobytes that I have in my limit rate over on the script. If I wanted, say, for instance, 900, I could put it in and hit Calculate and it would give me 256. But, as I said, 850 is what I needed for me to avoid getting charged more. Uh, with different plans, of course, uh, this might not even matter. You might have a plan that's got unlimited or whatever. I used to have a server that actually had unlimited, but I changed it. So, <laughs> now I got a little bit of a cap, which is annoying, but it's doable. It's a lot better than being disconnected all the time with your DSL connection. So, let's take a look at how this would be. As you can see, I changed the file name from uh, something with spaces to temp.avi. In the file name, you cannot have spaces. If you have spaces, the script is going to have a bit of a problem. You can... Um, say for instance for the title have spaces if you put quotes around it uh, or single quotes it doesn't matter really uh, as long as it's literal so that it would take it uh, I tried the, the uh, literal quotes and quotes with this uh, file name but I didn't get very far with it uh, someone else might but I didn't <laughs> so let's take a look at it in action I have my shell up already. I will do this and run the command. Upload-YouTube.sh. Now it connects to the YouTube API. And there you go. Since it's running it with curl, it will tell you how much time you have left with upload. If you do not use curl, from what I can tell inside of the uh, README, it will not allow you to uh, see how much time it's going to take you to upload it to the server. Uh, another thing that comes to mind that I just thought of, uh, let me pull this up real quick. Yeah, doesn't matter. Just a second. If you are expecting it to show up in my uploaded videos like it does when you're uploading through the regular uploader, it won't do that until it actually finishes uploading. When it finishes uploading, it'll show up here, assuming there is no errors. If there is an error, it I believe it won't show up. I'm not sure it might. I can't remember exactly because I haven't got a failed upload in a long while now. But assuming everything works, it'll show up here like normal and you can just edit the uh, file like you would normally and change it to public or private or whatever you would like to set it at. So that pretty much wraps it up. I hope that uh, this has been helpful to you guys. Drop down a comment uh, on what your guys' thoughts are, if you liked it or not. Please uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see appropriate. Thank you very much for your time.